I'm so excited to be studying this song with you guys. It's called Vincent. Some people call it Starry Starry Night and it's by Don McLean. And um, one of the things I wanted to do was share with you some of the things that people have said about this work. Um, and also that Vincent van Gogh himself, the painter said uh, about the painting. It was one that he wasn't very proud of. He felt that it was too impressionistic and that um, he should be painting more, you know, realistic paintings. So uh, one of the things that he said, and I'm going to share my screen and show you, uh, in a letter that Van Gogh wrote to a friend of his, he compared the stars to dots on a map and mused that as one takes a train to travel on earth, we take death to reach a star. Another thing I wanted to show you is interview that Don McLean had and he was talking about um, Vincent, the song. Um, two things is that he did the, the song in one take, um, just like one of his other uh, famous hits was Crying, which he did in one take. He said he liked to do a song right the first time. That was his approach at that time. He wanted to sing it in one take. And another thing is that apparently this was Tupac Shakur's favorite song. And his girlfriend took it to the hospital room, played it for him as, as Tupac was dying. So that's one of the last things he heard as, as he was passing from this world is Vincent. Now, when we meet, on Zoom, I'm going to share with you my thoughts and I'm going to be very interested to hear what your thoughts are about the lyrics and the music for Vincent. Some of the things I've noticed are that there are, are different kinds of senses that the um, writer, that Don McLean, the composer, um, writes about. He uses words that are very visual and he also uses some words that are oral. And that's something that's important in um, in composing either poetry or, or songs is to have words in it that are going to be engaging our senses, whether it be the sense of sight, the sense of hearing, even the sense of smell and the sense of touch. So there are a lot of words like that in this um, song because it's based on a painter and his paintings, his art. And we will go through, you know, some of my thoughts on what some of the imagery um, really means to me in this song. I can't tell you what uh, Don McLean was thinking when he wrote it, or certainly what um, Van Gogh was thinking when he painted his painting. Um, I can't go that far, of course, but I can tell you what it stirs within me. And I believe this is a song really about the human soul, human condition, and how artists communicate with the world. Another thing I wanted to share is um, there are abundant instances of alliteration. Paint your palette is one. There's a lot of slant rhyme, trees with breeze, uh, and things like snowy linen land. That's a really beautiful phrase there. It's alliterative, oh, the L's in it and the N's really have a, a gentle, a tender sound on the tongue. And so I wanted to share that with you. We'll look at some more of that as we do our um, exploration of, of Vincent by Don McLean. Something else I want to share with you is the um, chord progression. It's was written in the key of G major and it uses, it starts out, you know, with a fairly simple chord progression, starts with the first chord, the root chord one, it moves to the minor second, then the fourth, then the fifth, um, and then back to one. And um, really you can see in the chorus how the song builds very quickly in terms of the progression. Uh, it moves much more quickly in terms of the changing of the chords in the chorus, and that helps the, um, 
the song to kind of move along and to build and he introduces new chords in there like the sixth chord which is the e minor which is a relative minor chord for the g major diatonic scale so we'll look at all of that good stuff for those of you who are interested thanks for watching